Hey, what's up guys? This is Poker Express, and we are back with another episode of Poker Hands. Before getting into it, I would like to ask you guys to hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoy our videos. Let's jump straight into the action. And then he was like, 180, or whatever it was, you know, like, like that could, that could screw somebody pretty hard, you know? I, there's no way I could fathom seeing that being the right So move. it'll be a min raise, and they don't take a And they card. don't take a time bank card. But then a, another caller said that it would use the time bank, but if he didn't have any time banks, it would be. I mean, He's still getting used to time banks in this that's, game that's of poker. Yeah, sure. But, but like, if you have 10 time banks and you say raise and you're trying to think about a number, it shouldn't be declared a min raise. Maybe yeah, you yeah. shouldn't say that I, word I would agree. Yeah, yeah. while you're facing action. That's true, too. <laughs> Well, Roberto uh, raising eight line suited. Michael defending from the small with just a call cool holding kings. It's going to allow Chino in here with queen jack suited. For you, anything. Michael protecting his queen range here in the small by playing occasionally with some strong hands. Play decided. Okay. Roberto is just going to fold a lot as well. Doesn't want to throw too many hands. Well, Roberto flops second pair and a gush. Uh, pardon me, second pair and a backdoor flush draw. Now picks up a backdoor straight draw. Chino with two overs and a gut shot. Michael's king's still best. Well, the ball getting a little scary when you consider Chino's peeled from the big. A lot of pair plus straight draw combos here. Knows he can be ahead. Okay. Really, other than a seven on the river, very hard to play. I think he may just get away from this. Well, he's gone the other way. He's decided to jam it in. Having checked back the flop off the raising. Cool. Expect just a call here. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That is a huge fold. What is your hand? This doesn't make a lot of sense. The hand Roberto had raised pre flop. Check back on the flop jam <coughs> turn. Some slow played hands, like a set. Pocket sixes. You can see Michael with the opinion that Roberto wouldn't make this move with a pair and a gut shot. And well, great move by Roberto. He was. Very. Gets, gets two oh. folds. Pair and a straight draw. Raise. Raise card. Uh, Queen eight of hearts on the button. He raises. Mac will most likely defend the jack four hearts from the big. Ace, deuce, five, two hearts. This is where things could get interesting. Mac flops that jack high flush draw and a gut shot draw. Laza Unicus has the queen high flush draw. Laza does make the C bet pack cool. King on the turn. Thank you. 
Royal we'll have a thought. decision here when pack checks. Royal thought. Yeah, they check back. It's queen high. We're going to try and apply some pressure. Back to 5x and do sex. Got to the flop. Nasa does indeed bet 1.5 million. Gut shot, straight draw, and flush draw. May well decide a race here. Ну, в смысле, я подтвержу, что мне хватает, или нет? Мам, могу опередить, да, вот я за это. He does exactly that. Check jams his jack high, plush draw and gut shot. And, well, Lazar has to quickly release his queen high, plush draw. Pack turns a much dominated draw into a winner. And climbs over the 10 million chip mark. Tonya flats the cutoff with Jack Nine, a spade. Garrett flat here with King Ten of Hearts, but it looks like he's counting out a raise. Uh, again, not sure about this. Uh, well, see, these guys were playing earlier in the day before we got to see Omid, and so I don't know how liberally he was opening before he came to the feature table. Obviously, we only saw him with about eight big blinds. Omid is going to give it up. Yeah, Antonio has to call another 300k. Wow! Antonio moves it in. And now Antonio does have some strong hands here, flatting Omid under the gun open. He's not necessarily going to uh, three bet, for example, hands like ace queen and nines. Just wasting time here. Again, this time he's going to raise it up. Okay, he's been limping in sometimes against Marty. They have two big stacks. All right, Marty, 6 4 suited. He's going to see a flop here. Just put out the chips for the cool. So, pretty big pot forming here. Chip leader on chip leader action. Wow. All King right. eight, three, two clubs. We've Marty had, with a flush draw. We've Bruno. Had some nice flops. We're in a strong ace high and backdoor flush draw. Backdoor raw flush draw. Yeah. Six. Six point seven. A little over Bruno's half. got a peel one. Does indeed call the flop. Deuce of hearts on the gives turn. All right, Marty what picks a up a gutter. spicy turn. Two flush draws gives Marty a gutter. These boards have been a lot of fun. Now, if Marty bets here, this could develop into a really, really key pot on this final table. Yeah, yeah. If he bets, it's going to be big. He may just try and see a river. We won't be seeing a fold, that's for sure. Shade under 21 million is the bet. Yeah, this would be silly, pretty sick if Bruno could uh, whip out a raise here. Yeah. His hands are kind of too good, though. Right. Well, I think he was just confirming okay. the bet size. Okay. All right. So here we go, 68 million chip this pot. Need a player with a pair. We have two flush draws <laughs> on board. Let's see a river, James. <laughs> well, I mean, let's, let's, let's have the three of spades. Come on, let's see what happens on a brick. Wow, Nine of diamonds. There's a brick. There is the brick. <laughs> wow. Bruno. Checks. Marty looks at the river finally, and that's a whole all in. Whoa! Whoa! All right. Oh my Marty god. Marty rips it in one more time. What a boss. Pop. <laughs> 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 
Marty raising it up here with the queen eight. James calls with the ace. Marty flops an eight. Along with the backdoor flush draw and backdoor straight draw. James leads here with ace high. Marty calls. Seven on the turn. I think it's pretty hard for James to really continue in this spot unless we're targeting a three there we go he's going to do it he's going to try and pull the trigger 2.1 potentially setting up an 8 million wow. chip pot <clears throat> as Marty makes the call wow River is a king of hearts. Backdoor hearts get there. James doesn't have the ace of hearts in his hand. This is going to be really hard to represent anything. If he does pull the trigger here on these backdoor hearts, it's nothing but heart for James Romero. We know he's got all of that. In. Wow. There it is. Rips it in with just ace high. There it is. This kid, man, Romero. He is a pit bull. If Marty calls, this tournament is over. Marty lays it down. What the a bluff. bluff gets through. Sensational play. Zero blockers in his hand. Wow. Just grip and rip. Old school taking it to the streets. Nothing but feel. It's going to be on your over the oh side over there. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, oh, oh. They didn't even see the card. Yeah, side. so slide the little chip over a little bit. Go that way. It's up to put them like three seconds. And yeah, but I was, my cards weren't even close. To yeah, yeah. The, the first time? Yeah. yeah. Usually they. Okay. Big Hooney raising another gun, ace queen. Totally forgot about that little thing. Aaron finds in the cutoff. Is it uh, five million? Mm -hmm. Expect him to throw one of those gray chips in there. Get himself to a flop. Tails, King, Queen of Diamonds in the big. And he's obviously going to call with. <coughs> and well, Aaron continues to run good. Bad news for Hooney. Top pair, Queen quicker. Queen of Spades. We just check it to Aaron. The problem with that is Aaron bets big. So that was our break. It just gave oh, I didn't realize that. Wow. Although, not huge in this instance. Seven million. That was delivery of food. Of me eating a burrito on TV. Yeah. You're too, you're too vain of course, who are you going to continue with a call? Party Poker would never allow me. <laughs> Seven on the turn. Oh, you think yeah, that would be a problem? <laughs> ruining the shot. We'll see the same action again on the turn. Check that call. Those burritos are good, though. 
I just had one for the first time and it was I thought it was quite decent. 32 million in the pot. Now I'm going just over half pot. I think Hooney could definitely consider himself still ahead of some of Aaron's value even here. If he's been aware of how Aaron's been playing. Gladly's put pressure on. Likes to bet a lot of hands. of diamonds on the river. Backdoor diamonds completing. Any four making a straight. Not that Aaron has to worry about Hooney having too many fours, but he can definitely have a flush here. A6 of diamonds would play the same way. Just one. Aaron himself, of course, can have flushes. Barrel enough. Does have some misdraws as well that he'll want to bluff. Who needs Queen of Spades in his hand is a very bad card to have. He wants Aaron to have likes of King, Queen, Queen, Ten, Queen, Jack of Spades, cards like that. Could theoretically turn this into a bluff with the Ace of Diamonds in his hand. That would be a pretty cool play. We've got to think what kind of hand is Aaron going to bet three streets with. He doesn't have any combo draws in the flop that have made flushes a hand like say six seven of diamonds that might bet the flop and taken off is obviously blocked right. by William. there you go he's done it Hooney does do it I love this it is class taking the ace of diamonds and turn it into a perfect bluff check. I'm wishing you checked a set back and maybe inclined I fold. Wow. He does. He's going to show it and fold. Sick bluff. I have king high flush. 